Good evening, Ananji. On behalf Hello. of everybody, I welcome Ananji for today's session. So, people who want to ask questions can raise their hand. Some more are joining. People are slowly joining in. Invitation. You can unmute yourself and you can ask. Good evening, uh, Good evening, good evening, sir, madam. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening. Uh, very clear. No, there is no question. Eh? Yes, uh, nobody is asking uh, anything. Eh? So sure. we can discuss something, other things. Eh? Actually, yeah. uh, very clear. All, all the understanding is very clear. But you know, when, uh, when we come to a uh, external world the thing is only related to me is only the external world something mm -hmm. have, if sub, if i feel that uh, uh, something is going to disturb me financially or uh, physically so immediately it affects uh, our psychology first it will affect psyche only uh, it, it goes to psyche only so mm -hmm. then uh, we if we are not alert immediately it goes and um, take it take it to somewhere somewhere else to the future Actually, whatever we need to observe, whatever we need to do, act, it is in the present moment. It is always in the present moment. But you know, when we think about the future, because as I was hearing some program, eh, that madam was beautifully was explaining, mm. the thought comes in the present moment only. There is no past and future. Thought it always comes in the present moment only. That comes uh, in, to help in the present moment. So, but uh, when we don't understand what is what it try to express, what it try to tell us, then we will uh, jump into that and then we take journey with that. Then we stuck up with that. Uh, so our present moment action is going to be, uh, we will be disturbed completely. But all our action has to be done in the present moment only. There is no doubt on that. Yeah. So now when that kind of situation happens, eh, so you know, naturally, unknowingly, we jump into that and move forward, future. So is there anything, I think, we, I also accepting that situation comes, eh, I also accepting, okay, it is happening. So let it happen. Then I come back to natural. So it, it uh, normally happens to everybody. Anna, yeah. Absolutely. I think it happens to everybody and there is nothing to find fault with that. So that's the nature of mind. That's how it functions. So whenever you realize as far as long as it is unknowingly, it's happening unconsciously. If you, it's fine. That is fine. No problem. You're not responsible for that. So whenever you come to senses, whenever you come to sense that, then obviously automatically you will come out of that. Because once we know then it is not unknowingly happening, right? Then obviously you will know that you have to focus on your external work. So your focus will shift towards that. So that's okay. How, how many other times let it happen? So just allow it freely. Whatever happens, happens. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's absolutely clear. Yeah. yeah. But you know, sometimes, you know, when we, it happens to me uh, sometime, when, uh, when I see something is, suppose for example, I am in Nigeria. So, but I am, Physically and mentally, I'm stable. No issue at all. I don't uh, think what is happening in the world. You know, all over the world, so many things are happening. But I am not uh, involved in that kind of things. Uh, it can happen, whatever. So our state of mind, our, our state of mind is very much more important than what is happening in the external world. So when we are stable, that external world is not going to touch anything will be fair with us. That is very clearly I'm understanding. Yeah. But when uh, somebody talks, about the external world, what is happening in the world. I, as we are also living with them, so it, it triggers and to us also sometimes. Then when it triggers, eh, sometimes jump and then I, I'll be alert and then I'll become normal. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. Now, I think we, 
uh, said right mind is like a mirror whatever you keep in front of the mirror it will keep reflecting so whatever is the external situation that is occurring it will keep triggering some internal emotions reactions something will keep it will keep on happening till our end of life it will keep on reflecting something that's the job of our mind right mind will keep on giving throwing all options emotions thoughts and all if there is something anything useful for our external work we can use it always you can just accept it yeah that's the nature of mind there is nothing to uh, correct it or worry about it also let it be Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Vinkatesan. People who want to ask questions, you can use the raise hand option. Nobody has any questions. If you want to discuss anything, or if you want to give any comments, also that's also fine. We can. Can share your experiences. Yeah. Jiji, you can unmute yourself and you can ask. Uh, yeah, no, sir, Anandji. Good evening, good evening, sir. Yes. Good evening. Oh, actually, what I was uh, just thinking that uh, just like our uh, uh, psychological state is transient, it keeps on changing, and it flows. And uh, by this logic, we are not supposed to interfere into our psychological uh, state. Mm -hmm. But then, external world also is transient; it also keeps on changing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in the external world, why should we uh, take any action? We should just wait for uh, transient things to pass. Yeah, true. Some situations may be like that, but all situations will not happen on its own, right? If you have to, if you have to travel somewhere tomorrow, you cannot take any action. For example, for some work, if you have to travel to some place, right? Then you have to act. You have to plan, think, act, make all the arrangements for your travel. So all those things you have to act, right? If you just simply sit quiet, it's not going to happen on its own. So that way, and also external world. Everybody will um, look at you know their favor, acting in their favor. So if you want to act and uh, have a specific target to achieve for yourself, then you have to only act. Others will not may not be able to act on your behalf in all the situations. There may be some situations which can happen, but all situations may not uh, happen like that. You know, for example, if you want to, if you have to write an exam and get a job somewhere, then you only have to work hard, right? So that way. So that's why in external you have to act. Otherwise, it is up to your choice. Nobody is saying you have. Nobody is forcing you to act. See whether I have to do an engineering exam. Engineering. I have to study engineering, or I can complete my. Just remain um, satisfied with this, with my plus two and take up something on my own or do some business. That is up to me. That choice I have. But if you want to do something, that's an action. So that action is needed. so internally the problem is it is not that you have a choice that whether you want to act or not so that's not what we are saying it's not a rule that we are saying even if you act nothing is going to happen that's what we are saying even if you try to act even if you put your 200% of your effort in trying to change something here you it's going to be a complete waste of time that you have to come to that conclusion not not because just i'm saying or ayya is saying in his book you have to come to the conclusion that it is all waste of time trying to even discuss about this 
thoughts and emotions what is happening why it is coming like this and all these things are simply waste of time and there is nothing can be done is what we have to realize once we realize you will automatically drop this whole subject you will be more interested in what is happening external then you will not be even bothered about whether i am worried sorrow and all nothing and you let it you will simply let it go let everything go as is so that's the point yes got muted and you can uh, you can unmute yourself sanjay ji prem kumar you can unmute yourself and you can speak now good evening good evening ma'am good evening sir anand sir good evening, good evening. yes sir as i asked the last week the same problem i'm still facing i i was thinking to call you personally but okay anyway there will be saturday i will i can meet you and i can ask you the question i thought yeah so but i uh, what i'll suggest is uh, no you can ask your question no problem but i'll encourage you to call me also because we can have a, a detailed lengthy discussion here maybe others may be waiting we may not be able to go beyond the specific yeah, detail yeah, yeah. we can we can speak personally also get into the specific details of your problem also okay. we can do that i thought i thought sometime. okay i thought it will be maybe disturbing matlab some hesitation no, no, no. i let it be you can simply send a message and call me that's not a problem but you can ask a okay. question now yeah. yes sir uh, the same sir this um, actually i am interested in two things like my studies over there and another one is like um, content creation or uh, writings these two things are i'm so much interested mm -hmm. when i do writings and i used to post on my social medias on whatsapps and i used to share with my friends i feel so much comfort and feel so much happy internally mm -hmm. but when i do the same hard work on my subject i'm not get that much feel mm -hmm. so automatically okay. my mind go towards the happiness way here is a problem i'm facing yeah so that is the problem in fact most of us will face right so that's uh, you are going based on the emotions you know whichever gives you happiness you are going behind that so that will not lead you in the long run in the short run yes you may feel happier about this and all say after 5 years 10 years in the long run in the if you, because whatever studies that the, all that you're doing job etc is for your long run right we are looking at 60 years of lifetime 70 years of lifetime so in the long run what is you know what is good for me what all has to be done so that we have to look at that also right so of course i'm not saying we should not do anything which which will give you happiness at all but keep that in keep that also uh, you know in, in a certain percentage or certain proportion but you have to also look at what is required for the long run because that's 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 fair uh, that's what is required for your survival right okay. we have to understand the importance of that because if you just simply go with emotion emotions are always changing you know today it may feel you know today it may give you happiness the same activity after uh, one year or six months may not give you happiness it may you may feel get bored with that you may get bored or frustrated with it also so the emotions will not carry you know carry you for a long time so only intelligence you have to think what is right what is needed you know what is required for my survival or your situation whatever is the situation what is required for my surrounding and the situation that i'm in so you have to you know try to focus towards that and keep this in, in a little uh, you know have a, some some percentage you allocate some proportion of your time for all these happiness uh, which gives you happiness no. but also focus on what is important for you okay okay sir okay sir yeah because emotion you cannot depend on your emotion emotion today it will say something tomorrow it will change the statements right you know whatever it gives you happiness today tomorrow it may not give that's the problem with okay. emotion if you depend on that you know it will keep on be wavering that's the problem okay emotion is like uh, for us sometime we should not depend on emotion always you are trying because to because it is wavering so the problem is it is okay. wavering that's all it is not stable say for example you know just for example you are joining an engineering course say uh, that's a four year course right so today yes. you know you may feel suddenly okay engineering i am feeling happy excited maybe after one year suddenly all your energy will come down 
you cannot say okay now i am going out of the college again after 6 months you are sitting at home again it may say okay i am some somebody who has completed your you know one of your friend must have completed engineering he must have got a good job again you feel like excited oh should uh, you know how did i miss that let me also try so if you keep on go with the emotions it will be wavering it will go up and down so if you go along with that then you are activities will also be then you will have to go up and down that not work for you right in, in your in the long run okay. that's the only problem otherwise uh, you know motion is not a problem it will be wavering that's the and if you depend on that for your for your life activities external activities then it may sometime you know it may not cooperate with you it may not do what you what you know what is it may not talk about what is important for you it may just simply lead you in what is giving happiness to you okay sir so in that case for our emotions we can keep some time for that alone matlab we will uh, allot some time so that it will be not disturb our actual goal or actual aim to do our work is it correct sir can we do yeah. on that way that is correct so because the emotion means all everybody somebody may have a hobby of uh, you know music playing music or singing and you know so many things right painting and whatever uh, everybody has some hobbies so similarly you if you like this facebook whatever posting these com- you know things in facebook then you can you can do that you can enjoy that for some time and use that as your hobby and you know relax it you know for your relaxation or whatever purpose but you are you understand that your main focus should be on your your main work whatever you have you're supposed to do at this uh, point of time okay. in your life okay. okay sir okay i will try this sir um in case if not i'm not able to done this then i will call you personally i will message you then i will call you sir yeah yeah sure thank you thank you prinkumar mr jeevis you can unmute yourself and you can speak sir good evening sir oh, good evening sir good evening sir um uh, i have a question i'm um, just i'm in dubai i'm working in a corporate uh, com- company it's like a multinational company uh, i've been in this path and then uh, like reading the ias book and the thing i'm going on for a uh, last 3 uh, 4 years the corporate but when it comes uh, to i'm getting trained and training the employees also so the corporate uh, like tools they give it's actually blunted with psychological modification also for example in simple terms if you want to motiv- motivate somebody you have to give some uh, like an external and internal motiv- motivations uh, and then you have to train them in that way like in a real life we say that we cannot separate out in and out okay so how do we handle it sometimes it goes uh, away from what i learned okay so what is okay. the, yeah so i didn't exactly catch the problem here so you're saying is it against your principle sometimes you have to motivate yeah somebody. because i understand that uh, like uh, not to interfere internally mm-hmm. uh, like see for example the tools they give to develop you and develop others mm-hmm. it's like it's blended with psychological principle correct so that one is not matching with the values i have in okay values like for example if you can give like, like you say that sometimes i have to motivate somebody mm-hmm. so to motivate our personal improvement plan so you have to go through a plan mm-hmm. which is they have either uh, modify their behavior or modify their uh, and like uh, thoughts and it goes that direction so we cannot use this principle in workplace okay so modify thoughts i'm not sure if they are saying that but uh, yeah i understand but if you have the liberty and if you have the authority to modify certain things you can try and do that but otherwise you can look at it more for the external when you say habit it's more of an external practice behavior for example behaving with others behaving in the work environment office and around behaving with your clients you know so all those are external work related you can focus more on that rather than the psychological part again the motivation the tools they use the tools the corporate world gives are are uh, mostly like for intrinsic motivation sometimes it is like pushing the employees psychologically mm-hmm. 
factor that's what psychologically also we are not i'm sure you are not uh, doing something to make them happier or give them peace or you know not for that right it is more for how to be better more efficient in the workplace that's that should be the only purpose for them right for them they are not worried about his personal happiness or peace that the person have to attain right they will be more focused on by doing all these trainings or whatever motivation techniques finally he has to be better more efficient in the workplace in his work that's the only objective i'm sure that should be the objective for them so you can focus and probably take them towards that goal rather than you know talking about their happiness or peace yeah, peace for or, example yeah. employee is not performing well yeah we have to give psychologically a push correct so there but we, we are we have learned that not to modify the function of internal mind yeah so when i say when you say internal actually how do we differentiate here is internal means the everything is mind only we don't have two separate instances for one for acting in the external world and one to think about ourselves or internal system it's only one system finally so what we are saying is internal means when we talk about our emotions am i happy am i worried am i sad am i anxious am i angry so all those things so you know i should not be angry i should not be sorrow i should not be frustrated i should not feel this anxiety so all this is about emotions this is personal i will not you will not know see if i'm thinking something if any thought or thinking you will not know about it right whatever is going on in my mind only if i act or start speaking about it only then i will know so all that is external whatever is going on about your own system about my own happiness sorrow and anxiety and you know anger and all those things the emotional part of it only that is internal but if you start thinking about your own self in the external activities am i doing this activity correctly am i not doing my work properly how can i do my work in a better way you know can i be more you know as you said you know motivate that person to work better in in his work do better in his work so all that is perfectly fine only thing which is again it is not that you should not do it is not possible that's what that is the whole point right if you talk about your own emotions that i should not be sorrow i should not be unhappy and all that so that is what is not possible no, because other than that, it is not in your hands for example there is a project hmm. uh, like if we leave it to them hmm. uh, they all will not be having the right set of mind to finish it in time correct so sometime there should be a push that yes. not only like external push mentally also we have to with kind of a threat kind of thing like we don't complete this one we will be in this status the higher management pushes it goes to them so it's it's like we are altering their function of their mind also right no, that is fine na mind again as i said you know for the external activities whatever is needed whether it is mind or thought thinking you can forget about everything simply whatever is required for that external situation to act in a better way whatever is needed we can do all that there is nothing wrong in it right so only thing we are saying is the emotions if you alter if you try to change your own emotions about your own happiness and anger and anxiety and frustration which i was talking about you cannot work against your own mind that's all when I mean, you don't use your mind to work against your mind use your mind to do your work better that is absolutely fine whatever you can do you can do that there is nothing wrong with it yeah so for example there is a new employee comes and yeah. he is not very much motivated so yes. we are saying that if you behave this way you will be terminated yes so he can take two ways one is he take as a uh, thing he take as a positive motivation and yeah. he may improve or yeah. he may get upset and go worse situation also yes so that is bothering we are just yeah. trying to interfere in somebody's uh, uh, like like happiness or uh, no, so that no no so that we cannot uh, help it now beyond the point he has to only understand where his happiness depends on etc so in the work environment as per your duty what is right in that situation as you feel so you have to do that so otherwise you will not be able to know if he is not motivated to do you have to do either of the approaches either you have to say you know Uh, give him the frighten him with the you know that you will be fired if you are not doing this or the other way around you will be rewarded if you do this work better whichever way i mean everybody every organization will have their own approach 
so you can take any of that approach but that is needed na otherwise nobody will do their work otherwise everybody will happily uh, given a choice if you if you i have a choice i will happily take my salary and not work i'll enjoy in my office right and that is not uh, possible right because somebody is owning the business and he wants the he wants to drive the results so that is very much needed so in the external activity it is needed we are not only talking about internal stuff which is all our about our emotions and thoughts only that you don't have uh, any rights or anything to do there any responsibility there and uh, i have something about workplace stress also yeah. so like uh, another thing this is entirely i think okay this is entirely different from uh, this situation for example uh, like naturally we have emotions feelings uh, comes yeah um, and uh, sometimes we think and it goes like a thought yeah. okay so among this like for, uh, for example we get a burst of anger looking something or uh, are getting irritated even this irritations will affect our body or only when we make it as a thought and ruminating it that only affects the body yeah so body uh, once you are justifying your um, anger for example once you are justifying and once you start expressing because unless you justify and you know, so you have the authority and you start expressing you know then it will not induce any chemical reaction if you simply allow it if you don't do anything with it then it will automatically pass the next moment only when you start justifying and accepting or taking the responsibility for that anger then only it starts uh, going into the thinking mode or the acting mode right sometimes it uh, there will be not be a difference in yeah. the tra tra transition true so you have to simply accept it that's that's reality right we have to accept it and maybe next time we have to be a little more we can say that from that you can learn a lesson that we have to be a little more patient next time that's all that's the only thing we can do it's an external action right it's more of an action or how you manage the external situation that we have to learn and uh, deep learn to be a little more patient and and if the situation or the external the person who you are interacting is really important and uh, you know if you feel that there is that relationship or that thing is really important then obviously you will try to be you will try to uh, manipulate your uh, expression the way you express or the way you handle you will try to adjust it according to the situation right so that you have to probably understand and think about it because otherwise if you simply express uh, you may even lose that relationship sometimes right you have to probably just understand that context and try to be a little more patient that's the only option we have thank you yeah thank you sir Been muting you. You can come back if you have more questions. Inkitesan, you can unmute yourself and you can speak now. Uh, I have been. Uh, Mr. Jeevis was asking question. Uh, yeah. So something came to express. Uh, hmm. Actually, when um, we use the word accept the things as they are, for long I was not understanding what is the true meaning of that. Hmm. When we, when I look at it very clearly. first we have to accept our our ourselves first that is the thing i came to i came to that one when we accept whatever whatever things comes in our mind when we accept ourselves completely i feel that is a act of love it is not that we do but it is surrendering one way it is surrendering because it is in action one way surrendering that whatever whatever happening in our mind it is happening it is beyond our some of them is beyond our this one is happening so when we accept whatever happening in our mind so it is like a um, uh, caring our it is taking care of our indirectly it is like a um, surrender so when we surrender like that so we can able to that is the one i am i am i am understanding that i am able to accept the other people also very easily because i accepted myself as as, as i am so i am able to accept uh, as i am uh, others also so when this kind of acceptance take place naturally Uh, definitely the, the um, this uh, relationship also uh, comes smooth yeah because uh, that is the thing is a uh, reality i am understanding now because uh, for long also i was thinking that why i am not able to because if i if i feel that i am uh, i i am understanding something true yes it has to be communicated to everybody including family member everybody but when i try to communicate when i communicate when i try to force them it's no way it is uh, can be communicated to them 
uh, because they will be in a different state so that uh, we cannot try to convey them but when we live in our uh, when we accept whatever happening in our our uh, mind so we will become na natural so when this natural uh, naturally mutlachi madam beautifully explained one time that uh, changed me that says that when we are accepting all the things uh, that will uh, influence naturally we don't need to do anything it happens in the surrounding that uh, really made me to understand some beautiful understanding that's why it is a uh, that's why i want to say this one mr jv sai also maybe maybe to getting that one yeah because the word two words the surrender and then the inaction key point is there yeah key point is a surrender and inaction that is a real true. thing yeah yeah very true so if we once we understand ourselves so if you understand this internal system then i think all external actions will uh, you can start focusing and it will happen okay yeah, okay yeah. okay that's the one i was just expressing yeah okay thank you thank you sir Uh, you can unmute yourself and you can speak uh, just something came to yeah. ask yeah actually you know we are uh, waking state and then dreaming state and then dreaming state uh, actually when i went through some other uh, spiritual these things uh, they they used to say awake from the conscious state, state itself awake from the conscious state itself uh, they use that kind of word uh, like emoji uh, so many other uh, spiritual people are who is there in the spiritual journey i don't get what they are trying to say but uh, i don't get what they are trying to say uh, yeah. maybe this is the thing that that awake to the that accept all the things so that you will you will realize that your natural state which is already awake because one thing is very clear i, I don't know really honestly if i answer i don't know where i go in the night uh, yeah. because in the dreamless state Uh, we, our true our identity completely disappear we don't know yeah. where we go actually but uh, when somebody comes uh, and see our body is there definitely people can identify the body is there but our completely we will become unconscious completely so our identity everything disappear yes. but i i feel that something is something is there uh, that when we are not there that something is there but that i am not try describing it i am not trying to understand that uh, that what is that something it is there it is because one time also you asked to be explained that it is taking care a mind physical everything so we cannot try to uh, put it in word that what is that taking care but i and at the same time i cannot be able to deny also it is taking care hmm. that is no doubt on that again <laughs> that's the one i am getting at that so yeah. that in a dream state where we disappear actually actually <laughs> that is the one comes to come <laughs> <laughs> so we don't disappear right it is only the thoughts that you are aware right uh, so only only as part of the thought only when there is a thought you will be able to recognize that self identity also is part of that thought so when we when you are thinking about it or when there is a thought process happening only then you will have that self you will be able to feel that self identity when there are no thoughts you will not be able to feel that that's the only thing that's the only problem right so that's why in deep sleep you will not uh, feel that identity there So once when you wake up, once the thoughts start arising, then you will feel your uh, that self-existent state. <laughs> in practical reality, when uh. we sleep in the night, eh, if something, some phone is ringing, uh. naturally we pick the wake up and then pick the phone. Yeah. That means, eh, uh, that's also they say people we everybody try to use the word awareness. Mm -hmm. So in the night also that we aware in the night also unconsciously. Uh, not aware in the sense if you are in deep sleep obviously i mean there is a limit you know if, if somebody is disturbing you beyond your that level of maybe level of sort of sound or whatever light etc so obviously body will come to you know from deep sleep you will wake up right so that that's how that's how we respond 
that's the response body gives right when somebody disturbs you you will automatically wake up that's how body responds okay yeah okay okay yeah okay thank you thank you thank you ankitesan So it looks like everybody is quiet today. <laughs> Somebody can share their experience also. Then you can unmute yourself and you can speak. Uh, okay, nobody is asking this. I just uh, yeah. came to my yeah. mind. Uh, actually, uh, in a practical reality, we live with the memory. Uh, there is no doubt on that. Yeah, there is no uh, second uh, question because whatever we learn in the world, so it is recorded in our mind. But it as as well at the same time, uh, psychological also psychological memory also. it is a, a recording because mm -hmm. when somebody shout at us or somebody praise us that means you are a good man you are a good man like that or you are a fool or everything so immediately it goes to our mind and uh, actually apne immediately uh, we build our Im image we build a image about ourselves with about mm -hmm. others so when we build a image so that what happen through the, from the image immediately pops up somebody say uh, uh, we feel great oh somebody is praising me that you are a great man like that but that feeling uh, that it is actually uh, when we see that very clearly after i am understanding very clearly it is it is based on the image which i made it which i developed mm -hmm. it. if uh, there is no image it is uh, when we look at it in a real manner uh, flattery or uh, this uh, other bad emotions all are in front of this every is equal uh, when we look at it is equal so now this psychologically uh, why it happens i actually it is for practical purpose memory is needed for the technical uh, learning but the psychologically is is also the natural phenomena here yeah? the psychologically yeah, yeah. it is recording yeah yeah so in fact uh, in some of the situations uh, most of the situations i'll say it is needed na suppose you are having an image somebody has uh, cheated you, you know, with your money or something like that right so one month back or one year back so now when you meet him next time or you are in a similar situation next time meeting somebody else who is probably using the same language or same style or something like that immediately that will you will little trigger right so immediately you will start okay he is also saying something on similar lines i should be really careful so since i have already got cheated once so all these the image is some it is needed to act in the external world in your external actions if it is useful i'm saying if it is relevant yes we should use it that's the purpose of these image also that is also needed it is not that it is bad but if there is no use for in your external world sometimes it can happen that like that also that you can ignore it that's the nature of your mind that's all that's how you have been brought up and that's how it happens you can simply accept it and move move forward there is nothing to question about it okay yeah. because uh, as you were long time also we discussing yeah. we use the word conditioning so this condition Yeah. Uh, actually, from the childhood, we are genetically all the information is also stored in us. So all this also, it also comes from the there mm -hmm. also. Uh, it come that uh, because of that our condition nature also that sometimes it triggers and then pop up based on the present situation. Is it true, Ayas? I think I am I am clear at that. Yes, time. yes, obviously yes. Conditioning based on the situation you were brought up, your uh, nature. your mentality your psychological system so so many other things we can say so many factors right 
it will bring up your own ideas and concepts you must have developed so based on that you will some image or some something will pop up so if it is useful for your work then you should definitely use it uh, otherwise if it is not useful then you know, that's the, that's your nature simply accept it you don't have to think even think about it whether it whether it is good or bad things like that okay yeah but now now i am thinking that i feel that whether i can ask the this question or not actually hmm. what it means what is the true meaning of prayer i actually we do know we do prayer hmm. there is actually everybody do prayer uh, when we look at it our mind so we don't need to do anything with our mind side internally so it's Correct. very clear so anything related to prayer is really mean by external world only yes. related to our personal life that we want to be good in uh, external world success all the things at the same time we want to help somebody sick somebody we pray sitting somewhere here or near so this what is actually true meaning of prayer yeah so according to me it is more of uh, it, it, it's like a tool to give you some confidence that all some people may not require that because maybe they are self confident and self made or whatever so some people might need might believe in some deity or some religion etc and they will offer their prayers so just give that confidence right some people will feel that if i go to the temple and pray for this then they will believe that you know they are whatever they want their activities will happen in a good way they will get a positive result just a confidence boosting thing as far as i feel like so if you don't need that it is up to the individuals so okay yeah okay yeah. thank you yeah. thank you Thank you, Vinkatesan. Prem Kumar, you can unmute yourself and you can speak now. Yeah. Ah, uh, hi, sir. Yes. Uh, actually, here no one is asking. I mean, yeah. now that it is free session, so I can thought I can ask uh, one sure. more question. Sure, sure. Sir, right now today I was uh, not feeling well due to this. Uh, as I told my problem over here, na. Hmm. As towards the patient and towards the career, it was so much confused, and I was. literally i i was very bad today mm-hmm. uh even i was not able to think about what is thought means uh, i can't be like the i can't even understand the concept which i was having before mm-hmm. means i was let, now i was fully confused in, i was in the confused state right now okay. i don't know what decision i have to take i was confused and i'm just sitting here so okay can you give something now any yeah. help for so you just simply accept whatever confusion everything maybe just give some time or you know allow everything to happen inside don't don't even resist try to resist or try to correct it just simply accept everything give some time maybe i mean i don't know how much time or how many uh, what is the duration you're talking about maybe give it some one hour just be relax there's nothing to do about it so, so just simply accept it and relax and then after some time once you are once you have come to some normal see then you decide about what actions you have to take again there is nothing to do here so internally internally there is nothing we can do that you have to understand yes. so so in the external action you can give it some time just accept everything as it is give it some time and after some time once things come to normal see then you can think about what actions i should do what is important in my life you know, how do i look take it forward so all those things you can think about it for now you can just drop everything maybe okay sir temporarily for some time okay okay sir okay okay thank you sir yeah Narayan, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, so after understanding the IS concept, yeah. Now, 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 uh, this internal struggle. Uh, mm. uh, that's what uh, I was able to understand, and then it's giving. It's a kind of uh, my uh, something has made my body something. It is a kind of like it has made me very light. Mm. Okay. So my question is that whether it will be this situation will sustain for long time, or it may again it may go mm-hmm. back, or. <laughs> 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 okay when you say situation is it you're talking about this feeling lightness inside is it yes yeah so uh, again this lightness whether it is light or heavy and all we don't need to bother right and it is not in our hands also again right that's what we understood so when did you this feeling of lightness also when did it happen is you dropped everything 
to stop okay. resisting or stop uh, asking questioning your mind right then only this yeah. lightness came in right okay. you know again if you again if you start it is like questioning you know will this lightness be there it will, it will persist or not again that is like questioning the mind going against the natural functioning of mind so you don't have to worry about it, whether it whether it uh, exists for some time or not whether it goes away immediately the next moment let it do whatever it wants um, okay. give complete freedom for this whole system don't even worry about it so assume like this topic itself is closed this this is like a no entry here mm-hmm. inside mind about your mind don't even you don't have any rights or anything to do there so simply you can close put a big lock and key and mm-hmm. just uh, put a no entry board here that's all nothing can be done here all okay. your options are on the outside got it got it so so the the energy uh, so as 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 we understood that once we close the uh, close to disturb or close to con- converse with our internal uh, thing yeah uh, you said that we will get some energy which can channelize for our external work right. so i was able to experience that and then i got that uh, okay. so Good. the things which i was not able to do in the past <laughs> now at least i am trying to attempt thing it so i was surprised that how i got that energy but now i yeah. realized it <laughs> yeah yeah once you start focusing on the external work a lot of ideas also will come you may not even thought about it before yeah. ideas and some supporting emotion supporting thoughts and all those things will come on yes, its yes. own yes i got that experience thank you yeah. thank you sir So maybe if there are no other questions, should be about ten minutes left. Then twelve minutes, right? Yeah, about ten minutes. Yeah, you can speak, Venkatesh. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. When I when I am hearing in this program, oh. uh, the question. since i don't know where it comes actually it comes uh, when i don't take that question say uh, it disappears uh, when <laughs> i don't know how to express it the question comes uh, something some voice uh, i am sitting here i am hearing to you but a question comes uh, some question comes from somewhere but when i don't when i don't take that question say uh, it disappears for example yeah. one question came say uh, i i it's coming back again that can we able to define what is god that it was coming Okay. <laughs> it was coming in my mind then mm-hmm. i didn't took it but again when i am when i am discussing now that same question comes to me again and mm-hmm. telling me to ask uh, what can we can anybody able to de- define what is god <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the problem is again these things na i will define something but how will you prove or disprove that yes, yes, problem yes, right yes. so everybody that, can give their own definition but finally yes, yes. all this is how i see is all this is the same thing like prayers i think last time uh, sometime yeah, yeah. back you asked right mm-hmm. if somebody believes that and it gives them some confidence some support emotional support or something yes it is good enough for your for their external actions you can always uh, use that help but if somebody is self made self confident they don't need any support then that's uh, that's up to them right so it depends on that depends on their nature if they believe that they can use it but uh, there is no uh, what should i say absolute definition or something which is the perfect definition you know nothing like that because anybody can you know, argue or you know give different arguments or different kind of uh, perceptions everybody will have different interpretations so that way it will be difficult uh, yes i yeah there another thing uh, was coming uh, actually um, i know about a thing but i don't know a thing 
this statement uh, really made me sense yeah actually mm -hmm. i don't i don't know i don't i know about a thing but i don't know really i don't know a thing mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we always try to uh, try to make the image about for example if we look at a tree see when we look at a tree we identify as a tree but yeah. when we see tree there are too many varieties of tree but actually we don't we don't really sense what is really tree uh, when we when we when I, when i contemplate that statement it made me very sensitive yeah, because uh, uh, we see only the physical level but without right. the beyond the physical level without that beyond the physical level there is no such thing as a physical so that understanding gave me as i am seeing everybody a different uh, perception is coming on my mind i am getting hmm. it uh, that very clearly that just we are only seeing the physical aspect but hmm. we have to realize that there is beyond the physical aspect also that when we have that sense that the perception uh, our uh, relationship all the things will be enhanced yeah. there is no second uh, this one yeah. yeah that is true that is one way to look at it another way is more of uh, uh, see if you see a tree for example uh, you are not actually seeing the tree because you are just seeing a reflection and whatever happening inside your eye then mind so that's what you are seeing you are not actually seeing the tree so yes, everything yes, is yes. happening here the entire world and the actions is finally happening here only is what is another point uh, just to prize that point uh, that statement is also covering that point yes yeah, yeah. and uh, one other thing is there we we see through actually we uh, it, all the external things are reflecting in our eye uh, when when i read aya uh, book uh, it is a broad broad me good understanding uh, so it happen uh, it uh, it only reflects yeah. so uh, in, the, in the reflection there is no partiality there is no uh, differentiation anything whatever things i see whenever i open the eye all the things are reflected yeah. so now at the same moment it is free also the sensory perception is always free also but you know there is a continuity that we always try to identify things that's through your memory uh, that we call is a laptop we call is a mobile all the thing through identification so when that it is it is, it is actually a, because i am i am going in depth yeah that's it's going on it's naturally going so it is through the mind we are identifying in the yeah through the mind you are identifying is it not yeah yes yes of course mind without mind you will not be able to identify think about anything that is true yeah okay yeah okay yeah. because when i am going all the three say it's very clearly is going to that uh, beyond that so after the sensory perception mm -hmm. it is going through our mind and then we are trying to uh, we, it's not trying also it is there and identifying uh, this is a book and this is a boy laptop all the thing but in a practical reality uh, it is, is needed i was thinking that it was needed it is practical reality is completely needed yes sir okay yeah <laughs> okay okay thank you thank you thank you vinkitesan sanjay ji you can unmute yourself and you can speak yeah i was just listening to the discussion and as you say that uh, uh, whatever we uh, see here is melt touch etc it is all in our mind and uh, in fact that is true whatever we experience we experience only our mind only correct so and we will never be able to experience anything beyond our mind yeah so we don't really know whether an external world exists or not i mean we have never experienced it and nor we will be ever able to experience it so in that case what is the purpose of for distinguishing between internal world and external world yeah so this is more uh, we realize everything is more about the psychological part of it right but physically i mean uh, physically if i feel hungry then i have to eat i have to prepare my food so all these external activities are required we cannot stop our external actions right because of this we are not going to stop all these things are real right but it is happening so ha huh. what is the basis for differentiation between real and uh, uh, non real because everything whatever i experience it is only my own experience only my own sensations that i experience whether i yeah. experience uh, my thought or whether i experience my uh, car that also is uh, just uh, some sensations of touch color touch taste etc that uh, come into my mind i mean i have never experienced a car outside just yes. like i have never experienced a thought outside correct so why do why to distinguish between these two 
that's what i'm saying the experience the portion whatever you experience is only through mind without mind you cannot experience anything entire world you are experiencing through mind only including emotions thoughts everything is here only so that is true but externally there is also a physical world whether it is really there or not forget about i mean we are not getting into that but at least it seems to be there and you have to act in it right whatever work you have to for your survival you have to act in the external world right so that is why we are differentiating external world is is like a uh, like what it's an artificial world or artificial system that we have created right external world activities are all created by us only for our own convenience and survival so for that you have to act nobody is going to give you any anything free so that is why we are saying you have, we have to act in the external world yeah mm-hmm. okay he mm-hmm. muted himself We we'll wait for few more minutes. Okay, for two minutes anyway. Only two or three minutes left, right? So if there are no questions, we can close the session. No problem. i thank uh, anand ji for today's session thank you so much sir. thank, thank you. you so much thank you everyone